episodes ever, the boss of a chicken wing chain struggles to get a leg up on the competition. Hey, gentle, gentle. Come on, we got bills to do. Are you breaking a place? It's good. Everything's good. Wild Wing is one of Canada's sauciest wing joints. But they're trying to bounce back from tough times. I want to learn how can we make the company better on a whole. To work undercover in his own restaurants, Rick Smikolas is about to undergo a painful transformation. This is Angelo, and he's in training. So he can find out the shocking truth about his company. They never said enough for the tables. Ask for more. I did ask for more. You did? And that's what we're going to offer them today. Oh, the specials are a f joke. When his week winging it is over, he'll have harsh words for his franchisees. This needs to be addressed. And the hard workers he met earlier will be called to the carpet for some damage control. I'm not really Angelo. I'm Rick Smickless. Uh... <laughs> because this is Undercover Boss Canada. With the world economy in a fragile state, top corporations must adapt to survive. The bosses of some of Canada's biggest companies are about to take extreme action. To stay ahead of the game, they're going undercover in their own organizations. Wild Wing is one of Canada's largest chicken wing chains with nearly a hundred restaurants. Cheap prices and over 150 wing flavors have hooked customers for a decade and a half. My name is Rick Smeckless. I'm the owner of Wild Wing Restaurants. Wild Wing Experience is great food at great prices. It's a lot of fun. It's a great escape for the family. In 96, I had a, a restaurant in a small town. I mixed uh, barbecue and mustard by mistake, and it had a Wild West feel to it. And I said, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to have flavored chicken wings. What do you think about them? It's going to get a bit sweeter. With us, it's whoever has the uh, best wings wins. I'm born in uh, East York, Ontario. Come from immigrant uh, parents. Very poor background, so we taught at a young age to, you know, to work hard and uh, be grateful for everything we're given. I was uh, never one for school. My father was uh, the toughest, meanest guy you've ever met. I was very wild. At 16, I was uh, thrown out of the house uh, by him with a police escort, and uh, at a young age, I was, uh, you know, on the street hustling. My only skill I really had was I was a good negotiator, and uh, that got me out of a lot of messes. I took a job as a mud wrestler. At 17, I said, I'm going to go down to California, and I'm going to be a movie star. And then at 18, I moved to Florida, and next thing you know, I was flipping bottles. I was a boxing promoter, so I did that for fun. I, I, I drank a lot. I partied a lot. I went on a 10-year tear with alcohol, and I just woke up one day, and I said, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. And uh, I found out I was going to be a father, and I said, you know what? Uh, things have changed now. I have another mouth to feed to build the first store. I had to basically borrow against our house and get a line of credit. I didn't have uh, uh, much equity, and it was $15,000 was the most we could get. I opened my first store one day after the birth of uh, our daughter, Savannah, and uh, if it wasn't for her, there would be no wild way, you know? I was a single dad uh, from a young age. I split uh, with Savannah's mother. I've never been married, but I'm very happy. I'm alone, but I'm not lonely. Being a dad is uh, the best feeling in the world. She is what I'm most proud of, and uh, I, I love her more than anything in the world. But recently, Rick has been preoccupied with difficult business decisions. When I started franchising in around 2004, I grew very quickly, and a lot of mistakes were made. You know, up until August 2008, things were good. And then uh, the wheels fell off, the recession hit. There was a lot of fallout from this rapid growth and we started losing about $200,000 a month. Monetarily, our company has lost well over $10 million in the last three, four years. And uh, every day I thought I was gonna lose the business. I didn't think we would make it. And finally I, I said, you know what? I'm gonna lose this company if I don't scale this thing down. After a strategic retreat, Wild Wing franchises were reduced from 107 stores to a more manageable 87. As crazy as it's been, I'm still here. I got to do all kinds of crazy stuff just to fight another day. People have one mortgage on their house and they're panicking. I got three mortgages on my house. I got to take mortgages to meet payroll. This is what I signed up for. I know it's going to pass and I know we're going to be healthy and prosperous again. Our relationship with our franchisees is, is very, very critical. It's a lot of policing. If they're weak, we're out of business. Nothing good can happen when people don't pay us. If they, if they don't want to comply, we, we have really no use for them. It could be a more opportune time to go undercover. I want to go in, I want to learn, how can we make the company better on a whole? Guys, listen up. I got some exciting news for you guys. Uh, 
it's time that I uh, check out the stores. The uh, franchisees need me. I've decided I'm going uh, undercover for a week. For a week? One whole week. Wow. And see how we can help the store so they're much more profitable. And, and wow, in the that's, end, that's good. Yeah. That's great. You know, I'm, I'm excited. Life's about new beginnings, and tomorrow's a, a, a new beginning. Good, good luck. And just think, you guys are going to have one week of good sleep without me around. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thanks. So his disguise is convincing. Rick has decided to strip away his pearly whites. While I'm undercover, I will be assuming the name of Angela Nacy. I will tell people I'm from Chicago. I'll be posing as a new employee, being trained in a documentary about chain restaurants. I'm gonna be living just like a regular worker. Nothing fancy. Will Rick's disguise fool his closest family members? Hey, guys. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> he looks really scary. I don't like it. Oh, oh my God. God. They did a great job on him. He looks like a mafia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, yeah, you look like a mafia. I'm gonna miss you, guys. Bye. Right. Hey, real kiss. I'll give you a hug. Um, I think the hardest thing to keep him undercover is probably going to be he's going to yell a lot. He's very short temper. I'm going to just have to be calm and patient, and uh, I'm not going to blow my cover. Coming up. No, no, come on. You can on me. You can on me. You know what? You're in the wrong business. Rick, this is cool. It's good. Everything's good. Yesterday, Rick Smiglis was wing commander of a beer and chicken chain. Now, he's working under an assumed identity in his own restaurants. I'm on my way to Ottawa South location. It's one of our more profitable locations. It's a Friday night. It should be very, very busy, and I look forward to getting uh, back behind the bar. I was uh, a bartender at a young age. I used to flip the bottles. I helped uh, with the movie Cocktail. Hi. Hi. Brittany? Uh, hello, Brittany. Hi. Hi, Brittany. Angelo? Angelo? Hi, it's Mayo. Come on back. I love serving. I just love it. I don't know. I like the people. And I just like the atmosphere here. Brittany's 10-hour shift includes managing the bar, supervising the servers, and coordinating the kitchen. Stock the front fridge. Be prepared to work. That's all I want to say to you. I used to bartend in uh, Florida. Florida? Yeah. Doing this, uh, I used to do it seven days a week, 12 hours a day. I'm, I'm pumped. I'm ready to go. Oh, that's changed change keg. Beautiful. I'll do that. Yeah. I'll do that. You can change keg? Yeah, yeah. It's not going to blow all over the place? No, <laughs> Be careful with it. Don't be rough with it, because it'll be all foamy. Gentle, gentle. Okay. All right. I seen that. I seen yeah. that. Yeah. Got to go slow with the beer. It's just taking your time, and he kind of bashed it over, which made it foamy. I think he's just nervous, you know. I want to go slow. All right. Uh, changing the uh, kegs was, uh, you know, it's fun. I, I like that kind of stuff. Oh. Pull it out? Yeah. There you go. Don't do it with that, or else that beer is going to be all over you. No problem. I'm, like, nervous. <laughs> Canadian cakes are a little different. I think a cake's a cake. I don't think it matters if it's Canadian or not. Oh. See how it's foamy is? Once it's settled, it'll be fine, obviously. So, yeah, two fingers. <laughs> <laughs> we got a table. We're going to go up, and we're going to go from there. So you're just going to be fed to lions, and you're going to do it solo. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to Wild Wing. Thank you. Is, uh, can I start you off with a beverage? Are you seem a little nervous, uh, a little shaky. That's good. Yeah, no. No, it's good. Good stuff, guys. It's a little bit of, like, lingerer. You gotta just say your piece and move on to the next table, you know what I mean? You have an accent, so I thought you were visiting from Quebec. No, no. <laughs> I'm from Sudbury. Sudbury. It's a little awkward sometimes. It's good. Everything's good? We survived. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Good. You just gotta have fun with it. I don't know if serving would be the ideal thing. As the house fills up, Brittany has to take over. On an average night, this restaurant sells over 1,500 wings. So that's 15 Margaritaville, 15 Blue White Blonde, 20 Sweet Smoke. Brittany's great. There's her stuff. Get on the ball. It's rubbing off on me, and I'm flying also. Should be flying. Yeah, usually the trainees follow me a little bit more than he did. He kind of talking to people's kind of did his own thing sometimes. I'm your trainer, supposed to follow me and listen to what I'm doing. Do that function okay, make sure they get... I know he's trying to get everything done and get in a fast-paced environment, but uh, we just want to ensure client quality at all times. Here you go, guys. Start out for that. Enjoy. He's at a table. Great, thank you. He brought the appetizer to the round table. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> I could have sworn they ordered an appetizer. No. They were just taking their time? Yeah. You need to pay attention when stuff like that, because now they have free food and they're not going to get their food. All right. So just pay more attention. You so guys, you guys can just enjoy those. You they guys were... can enjoy their own meal. <laughs> First day, not all that. <laughs> as far as uh, staff paying for mistakes, uh, I don't believe they should. They're going to ch chalk it up as a, as a house loss. Chicken or anything. Sandwich burgers, 
You just got the burgers like not too long ago, like a month ago. Are they selling? Yeah. Uh, we're trying to make it popular. Uh, people come here for wings, right? Yeah. What would you do uh, different? Like, would you? Um, this was your store. This is my store. This is the menu thing that's like the most frustrating. Like a pint and a pound, which used to be, used to be on Thursdays. That was really popular. Yeah. And now that changed, so it's just. People come for that. Like, I find tables like just full blown leave. Like, shut the menu and left the restaurant. Yeah. One of the biggest things I learned today was our Thursday promotion, once I get rid of the uh, burger, will be to bring the pound and pint bank. People want it back, and th that is uh, critical. So you you're, you were born in Ottawa? Yeah. You guys are close, your whole family? Or? Super close. Wow. Yeah. My mom and I are so close. She reminds me so much of you, and then my dad was very sick, and it was uh, it's the worst time in my life. Like, it's not good when you're sick. Nope. It's definitely not. Not from there. I was, like, 18, and I got diagnosed with, like, a blood disease. It's like a white cell blood count deficiency. I was supposed to go to university in the fall, but I didn't end up going because my hematologist specialist is in Ottawa. So I ended up staying at home and get a job at Wildwing and uh, went to a community college. I have, like, plasma transfusions. I got my blood tested, like, once a week. And so I had surgery, which is successful. Thank you. And uh, ever since then, I've pretty much been good to go. It's very uh, sad. I had uh, friends with... Um rare blood diseases and uh, one of my best friends passed away from it so it really stuck an emotional cord I'm glad uh, she, she came through and she's okay you know when you're 18 all you want to do is go away to school and party and, yeah. and I couldn't do that then I worked uh, two jobs full-time at night time I went to school yeah. during the day worked hard for where I am now you got a good attitude about it. it's great yeah well you have to I definitely matured quicker about it so and who cares about those party years yeah I'll make up for them I plan on going to Ireland in for St. Patrick's Day actually I'll party then. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're done here. Thanks for coming out. Aww. You did a good job. I'll get out. We'll hug it out. Real deal. Going for the real. <laughs> My day today was uh, lots of fun. I'm happy because Brittany was a star. But one of the biggest things I learned is critical that I bring the pound and pint Thursday promotion back. Coming up. We do things just a little different than what head office wanted to. If you can't get this right, you know what? You're in the wrong business and later doing this for 25 years i hadn't even heard of wild wing give me a break she was out of line i'm sorry wild wing ceo rick smickolas has changed his appearance and job title to monitor his restaurants more closely and the staff have been on his back i don't know if serving would be the ideal thing Here you go, guys. About the appetizers to the round table it's his second day working undercover i'm in orleans ontario today at one of our new franchises i'll be working in the kitchen and it's going to be a great time to check out our new menu and see how everything's working. Oh, he's just back in the kitchen. Hey, Steve. Hi there. Hi, Ange. Nice to meet you, Ange. My name's Steve. I'm a uh, general manager of the Wild Wing Orleans. So we got lots of work to do today. All right, we're going to get into our, our, our prep kind of stuff. And then we'll start going through the recipes. Steve pulls triple duty at Wild Wing as manager, server, and the most time-consuming job, chef. Things to do. What's your favorite uh, food in this place? It's got to be the wings, my friend. As you can see, over the years, i put on a little bit of weight from the wings, but uh, it's worth it. All right, Angelo. So when the order comes up, it'll come out of the printer, and then in the red, it's going to be our flavors of wings. We got a daisy dew, and we got our honey garlic. So now give them a good shake, throw it in there and keep it hot. Now give them a good shake up again. You hear the crispiness to it? That's what you always want to see. In so we're just going to pour some in, just a good little squeeze, toss it up. Yeah, see, you're getting the hang of it already, eh? Yeah, 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 it's just good. Perfect. I like this. Yeah. Um, cooking, uh, it's been probably uh, nine, ten years. It was amazing, and I, I really enjoyed it. So I can't believe how easy this. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. really idiot proof. Yeah, you haven't seen it busy yet. And as the lunchtime rush hits, that becomes more complicated. Yeah, I got the hot dog. All right, that should be Guests good. order sandwiches, wraps, and the current special, burgers. Kind of neat. Yeah. The only place I've ever deep fried burgers. Yeah? Not a lot of people like the burgers, and it hasn't sold too, too much. Um, as far as the burgers go, I'm happy. I, I'd, I'd order one. You know, it's going to be 2 3% of our product mix moving forward. Wings will always be in the 70 to 80% range, so it serves its purpose. Wow, cool menu. Yeah, there, you know, there's a few discrepancies. You know, some of the specs in here are uh, not as what they say in the menu, like the burgers. The original specs that had off the send us never stated that it had Caribbean jerk sauce on it. But then on the little small menus for the guests, it says right on it, you know, kind of look embarrassed when they're like, well, where's my jerk sauce it comes with, right? Yeah, regarding some of the things that could be uh, fixed on the menu, I, I'm really glad that he pointed that out. I'll make sure that we are even more diligent the way we uh, spec things out. What would you put on the menu if you were 
me myself, I would stick with the basics. Go with uh, with what works, with the wings. Wow. It's a little bit more difficult for the kitchen, uh, doing the burgers, doing the hot dogs. Everything that has been done here, I know nine-year-old, ten-year-old kids that can easily follow through these steps. If you can't get this right, you know what? You're in the wrong business. I like a blue cheese right on top. Okay. So we'll just have to make a new Southern Belle then. When the food came back, uh, I, I, did, I did screw it up, and sometimes the customer's always right. So okay. for those. No, no, it's, it's, uh, it's fine. And look at it improve just a little bit uh, on the specs. You know, I'm not going to ream them out just yet, but, you know, reading the specs, making sure everything's going out correctly. We do things just a little different than what head office wanted to. Um, head office wants us to do eight wings for a single order, and we made the executive decision to keep it at nine, as it used to be, to save our customers from feeling almost ripped off. We don't we don't want to be taken from them, and, that, and that's what it kind of feels like sometimes. As far as uh, dropping the wing counts, I never wanted to personally do it, but it was heavy, heavy pressure from the franchisees. We're in a very, very uh, uh, tough business because we sell protein, and uh, it's commodity driven, and the prices are always going up, but there's still enough money uh, to be made to pay your bills if you keep giving back to the customers and um, I tip my wig to these guys. This is one of my favorite ones to make because it's got such a color contrast to it. Steve is very, very passionate. He's very, very knowledgeable. He's a great leader. He reminds me a lot of myself when I was starting. He's a great role model for the staff and they all seem to like him a lot. And that's great. Thanks, Steve. You're welcome. I've always been involved in uh, food most of my life. Um, my dad has been a donut baker since I was a kid. I remember being nine, ten years old and going in and helping him at nights, yeah. overnight. And he wanted to show me that you need to work throughout life to get what you want. Yeah. Uh, he has a good work ethic, and I believe that's where I get mine from as well. When I hear a guy talk about his dad, it, it brought uh, you know a lot of emotion to me because uh, it just uh, made me think of my father. Growing up, my father never helped me in my life. Uh, but one thing I admire about him. You know, we were taught there's no shame in uh, hard work, and I owe so much to him. I was pretty choked up. So did you get married or? Uh, I'm engaged right now. Uh, I've been engaged for oh, five weeks. Oh, good. Five weeks. We were, uh, thank you. We were hoping to go down south um, to do the wedding. It's just so much easier that way. Yeah. But uh, some of my family wouldn't be able to go. Where about south? I was uh, uh, in the States there. Well, we were thinking just going to Cuba or Dominican or yeah. something and doing a wedding on a beach. Yeah. But uh, we want our whole families to be there. It's the uh, start of our dinner hour. So you can probably get going, my friend. If you ever come to Ottawa again, come see me, eh? All right. Thanks for doing It's a pleasure. My day today was amazing. On our next uh, menu, uh, we're going to take uh, Steve's considerations uh, very seriously. Steve was uh, uh, an amazing uh, star in my eyes. Coming up, ask for more. I did ask for more. Rick gets a stiff talking to. When you're talked to like you're stupid and your staff are stupid, but I mean, the accountability starts from the top. Give me a break. Chicken chain CEO Rick Smikolas has been winging. Be gentle, gentle. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm on my way to another store. I'll be working the day shift, and uh, they'll be checking out their cleanliness. Today, Rick will be working with Laura, a regional manager who has no idea her trainee is actually the Wild Wing CEO in disguise. Angela? Nice meeting you. Call me Ange. All right, so you ready to start? Yeah. Okay, we're going to open. We're going to make sure that toilets are clean. My first job at nine years old was uh, cleaning offices uh, with my mom and uh, two sisters, and. Um, you know, we were taught, and there's no shame in uh, getting your hands a bit dirty, and I actually enjoyed it. Are you breaking the place? Nice to see that he actually wants to learn. He's keen for sure, and not being afraid to get dirty and, do and doing the jobs. All this cleaning is necessary to maintain a restaurant. Hi, folks, how you doing? Their cleaning duties are interrupted because Rick has to manage the lunch rush. Hey, guys. Getting excited. How's my trainee doing? Have some more guests that have joined their table. This looks good. I could go for some hot wings. <laughs> We'll feed you later. How's that? So we've got you all set up here. I never had these oh, hot wings. They look oh. so good. No, no. I, uh, try one. Are you going to try it? I'd love to. You love them. See how it works? You have paper towel, wet naps, buckets for garbage, bones, and everything? No, but they're so good. Yeah, no, I love it. Why is he? It doesn't seem awkward. You know, some little things that you don't do, you know? What a nice guy. You know, he's taking direction well, which is good. Don't octopus glasses. Okay. I'm going to grab the wet floor sign, just so nobody falls on their head. Laura is a great person. Enjoy the weekend, guys. She's amazing for the business. She's old school. She's relentless, and uh, she's a great ambassador for the brand. So you have a daughter? Yeah. How old? Uh, she's 13 now. Wow. I'm a sole parent. Are you? Really? Yes. I have three. All boys. 
They're good boys? They're very good boys. I mean, they're, you know, they're teenagers, right? They've all gone through their things, and they're all very different, but yeah. they're really good children. And I mean, there's times I've worked three jobs in order wow. to support them. And yeah, it says a lot about you to raise good kids. Life just throws curves, because my youngest child is autistic. Uh, her 16-year-old son with uh, autism, that really struck a chord with me, and she's had a, 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 you know, a pretty tough go by the looks of it. But how do you handle your kid's um, illness? You know, the thing is, for me, is I had him assessed when he was very young. The first reaction was, oh, there's uh, programs for that or specialized yeah. daycare. And I'm like, so why would I raise my normal children yeah. and not raise my quote-unquote special child? Uh, so yeah. he's in high school. He's taking, like, advanced level courses. Wow. So he's excelling. You know, the only thing is, really, for him, it's social. He's not as social as he could be. Yeah. I'm really uh, proud of her. She's a spark plug. What do you do for hobbies, like holidays? Like? Um, well, it's hard, too, with three kids. Well, I mean, I take weekends. I'm not just where, where would you go for a week? Uh, you know, Italy or, you know, my, even something like, you know what I mean, Disney World with my kids. Something That's... that they missed out when they were younger, you know what I mean? Yeah. Especially my son is autistic. I know that he would actually be thrilled, you know what I mean? Towel should be on the left. You're missing on Pockets on the right. Little tent cards. We don't have enough. Okay. Which is unfortunate. Are you sure there's not any? No, it bothers me as well. It's for the Thursday promotion. Yeah. For the burgers. And they never sent enough for the tables. Ask for more. I did ask for more. Oh, uh, you did? I did. I asked head office for more. They're who controls that. And I was told they gave out what they gave out and there were no more. Uh, if the 10 cards aren't there, we'll get the 10 cards. But the promo's ending in a, in a week or two anyway, so. That's why it was just a timing issue. It's, it's nothing uh, serious. I mean, I take my job really seriously. Yeah, you're great at it. And sometimes I, I don't think that head office really respects that. Yeah. I'm really just trying to do the best. And I'm asking all the questions when they start a promo that... The staff are going to ask, and sometimes I don't even get answered. And then when you're talked to, like, you're stupid and your staff are stupid, talk about accountability, right? But, I mean, accountability starts from the top, too. Exactly. She has no right to say that. I, I believe in quick responses to any franchisee any second. It is a good company, and it is a good product. We've been voted Best Wings in Ottawa in a lot of our regions. So, you know, the more national recognition, I think, would be good as a company. And from my understanding, every franchisee has to pay an ad fund, 3%. But people haven't heard of it still, which is uh, crazy. You know what? I, I, I promised I'd count the ten. I, I, I couldn't count the ten. Give me a break. She, she has no reason or right to bash the company like that. Check your facts, okay? When you're saying that there's 3% ad fund, have you ever looked at our website? It discloses that, that we charge two, which is not three. And for her to say that nobody's ever heard of Wild Wing here, the whole world knows us. It, it hurts. I mean, I don't even want to go back in there, to be, to be honest with you, because I've lost a lot of respect for her. Can you do the two o'clock washroom checks? Two o'clock washroom checks. Perfect. Ready to go. Thank you. My experience with Laura was, uh, you know, it was a roller coaster. I, I, I was upset, but I, I, I know that it's not personal with her and I. I know she's a great person, so I guess I'm done. You're done. What a hug. I'm sure. It was absolutely did a good job. We need more training, but he definitely has the passion to do it, and you won't do it well if you don't have a passion in this business. As far as me being defensive, uh, I don't go looking for trouble. And when it comes at me and it's not backed up with facts, sure, I get upset. But I love uh, the criticism. It's good. I'm going to act on some of these criticisms. Coming up. No, no, come on. You can't treat people like this when they're crying at work. And later, Rick strikes back. Uh, it really hurt me because you didn't have your facts. It's okay. Rick Nicholas, a boss undercover, is trying to keep his cool. She has no right to bash the company like that. But the hot-headed CEO has had a hard time keeping a lid on it. Now it's his final day on the front line. I'm in Oshawa today. This was a very uh, profitable store. However, sales have been dropping dramatically here, and I gotta really assess what's going on here. If there's a way we can salvage this store, or if it's too late. Bartender Sabrina is waiting for him. Angelo? <laughs> How Hi, are you? You're late. Uh -oh. And his tardiness has already put them behind. I got a lot to show you. Take a few trips. Big ice machine. Big ice, small bucket. It's a workout. It is a workout. That's how I keep in shape. Yeah. Rick has to be able to juggle bartending, inventory, and serving the guests. If he's going to work in this business, he's going to have to be on top of things and be there. Angelo, come on. Okay, so you're going to go this way with them. Slow right now. <laughs> Too slow for me. So I work like five to six days a week. Really? Yeah. So. Uh, days or? Days, yeah, straight days. I got two little girls to take care of. So. Two little girls? Yeah, I got, I got eight and four. Eight and four? Yeah. Who's watching them? Your husband? Uh, no, no, I'm divorced. I guess these are guests that are coming in. Did you want to follow me to see the guests? 
Our special on Mondays, by the owner, it's uh, two pounds and get one pound free. So that's not through the franchise, it's actually through our owner. How are you today? Today's special is you buy two pounds of wings and get the third pound for free. Okay. It's okay to share as long as the second person orders two apps. Okay. Okay. That was so confusing. I didn't know what was going on there. Oh, okay. So when you say special is buy two pounds, get one free, one person can't eat three pounds of wing. So between two people, yeah. you can share it, but as long as you order two apps on top of that. Well, it's confusing for the customers. Like to... No, I'll go back and re-explain it all again. Oh. Or just two pounds, and then, I, and then she gets what she wants. Yeah, she can have that third pound for free. <laughs> the specials are a f joke. Like, that stuff makes sense to me. Well, yeah, because that's all head office stuff. So, why does this guy go against head office? <laughs> I, I want to stick to You're this getting stuff. frustrated. You know, we, we, we authorize the promotions. Uh, they're done strategically so the uh, franchisees can make money. If they're not making money, we're not going to get paid. Cost-wise, it doesn't make sense. And it, it took Sabrina three times to explain it and get it right. No, we're each getting... Oh, you want to get your own? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Can I get blue cheese dressing on the side? That's also extra nine nine cents. That's one right. veggies on top of that for a dollar twenty nine. Did it? No. Okay. The dip itself is nine nine cents, but if you want veggies and dip, it's a dollar twenty nine. Okay. Um, all the wild wings aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing. I get people coming from Bowmanville that um, complain that the wild wing in Bowmanville will give their veggies and dip for free when it's specified in the menu. That is an extra nine nine cents. Obviously, there's a problem with uh, some stores uh, not giving the uh, extra sauce, and um, it's going to be consistent. It's the first thing I'm, I'm going to address. You're welcome. Are you guys doing tall boys today? Please. Yeah? So we always open it for them. <laughs> tall boys are really popular. We tend to sell more tall boys, which is more of a profit from the draft. Tall boys are, are not um, authorized by us. There's lots of concerns here. None of this is on her. This guy, he's not going to be with us much longer, the guy that's running this store, because he beats to his own drum. He's bigger than the brand. And when you're that big, there's the door, buddy. You're gone. Is the owner in today? Um, I don't know if he's coming in today. What's she like to work with? Huh. We have our good days. We have our bad days. I mean, there's been times we fought. I've had him scream and yell at me and tell him he could find someone better. Really? Walked out in the middle of a shift to realize I can't walk out because what am I going to do for my children? It is what it is. And... Listen, if he's mean to you when I'm here, I'll stick up for you. <laughs> Sabrina, she's a great person, and for her to be subjected to this is, is not fair to her. I have to do it. I'm going to quit. I mean, just went bankrupt today. I have to sign the papers, yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. No. Um... It's tough. But you know what? Uh, you're a strong woman, and you're going to get through it. It's, I went through it, and it was the best thing that happened to me. Well, so. you know, I'm going to lose my vehicle, but you know what? There's other transportation. Yeah. So. There's buses. She, she's nice, and uh, the owner's not nice. That's the first thing that I'm, I'm going to uh, deal with. It's, it's like, you better treat your employees right. I better stay calm. I'm, I'm going to offer a lunch break. Coming up. I just you know what? I don't need to hear it. You can on me. You can on me. You can't treat people like this when they're crying at work. No, no, come on. I want a proper apology. The Sky's boss, Rick Smicholas, is having a tough week. Come on, we got bills to do. You brought the appetizers to the round table. I don't know if serving would be the ideal thing. He went undercover to discover the truth, but it's been hard to take. Why wouldn't the owner ask for more? I did ask for more. Oh, uh, did, you did? Give me a break. She was out of line. And his latest discovery has really put him on edge. Concerns here, this guy that's running this store, he's not going to be with us much longer. Well, I, uh was on the lunch break, and when I came back, I noticed that something was off. I went bankrupt tonight, you know that, right? Do you think I come here happy no, all the that's time? that's my fault. I give you the five days, six days, what? Not what my hours, one? Dave, not my hours. Welcome back. You look a little upset. I am. I'm furious, actually. So. Can I help? Is there? You want to replace the owner? Is he here? Yep. I get yelled at for everything that happens around here. Well... I'm really... I'm ticked right now. I can't even talk. Just... If you're going to get abused like this, uh... There's no other job out there that gives me the hours I have to do with my children. That's why I stick with it and take it. I mean, you're crying, you're emotional. If my daughter was uh, being abused like this, and I, I would, uh, well, let the guy have it. I don't have a dad like you. I don't have anybody. Well, maybe I can do it. Just trying to stay calm here. <sighs> Please let me talk to this guy. If 
if you trust me. He's in the office. Well, please bring him out. I don't know if he's gonna come out. Probably not. Tell him if he's got any balls, he'll come out. Uh, he'll be out two minutes. He's on the phone. I'll risk my job here to, to make this right. And, uh, and, um... Hi. Do you know me? Yes, Mr. Rick. How are you? I can see by... Let me get something straight. Yeah. First of all, yeah. you can apologize to her. Uh -huh. Okay? I just talked... You know what? I don't need to hear it. I want a proper apology. You go up there and you apologize. Sorry, Camila. You can on me. You can on me. You can do whatever the hell you want to me. You can't treat people like this when they're crying at work. I just... No, no, come on. Employees come first. You are disrespectful to the brand. And you know what? I'm going to come in and I'm going to make it right. Like that. Do, do you want to quit? Do you want to come work for me? I'm ready to quit. Okay. You work with me. I'm going to triple your salary. Triple. Sabrina, this is what I want done. I want you to go over there. I want you to pay for those people's bill. This here. Give me a pen. Do you don't need my name. You don't need my name. Call it Dave's Wings. Come on. Uh, I love you, Ray. No, you don't, you don't love me. Give me a but this crazy promo of yours, what is that? And tall boys, okay, we have a contract for draft beer. Everything you do is different, and it's against, okay, it, 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 and it's against the company. I wasn't uh, too happy, I wasn't too impressed with the guy. I knew he was on borrowed time coming in, and this was just the final nail in the coffin. The more and more I think about it, the more and more mad I get. It's done. You and me are done. This really, really, it's one of the craziest things I've ever seen, and I apologize on behalf of uh, myself and our company, and uh, it's not the way uh, it should be. Okay. It'll be okay. I promise. I swear to God, I promise. Okay. Um, I don't even know what to think right now. It was nice to have someone stick up for you. Like I said, a long time coming for all this to happen. So I got a big smile from you. Thank you. <laughs> I got a so you had no idea who I No, I honestly didn't. So it's make your day? I'm just like, okay, but I knew something was up. On a scale of 1 to 10, how bad is my wake? Bad. <laughs> so bad. Uh, Sabrina, I hope this helps a bit. It's just a start. Thank you. Uh, you don't have to cry. It was a very emotional situation for both of us. Please take the week off, get your energy back, and you have my cell number on there. On the, on the card, yeah. Okay. Just text me any time of night, like I said. I just really, honestly care about her, that she finds her way in life, and that she can learn from this experience. What I've learned on this journey is I've learned to be a little more compassionate. I've learned that ultimately I'm accountable uh, for a lot, and uh, I'm grateful to the employees. I know what needs to be fixed. We're in this together. If we all do our part, there'll be lots of winners here. Coming up, Steve, Brittany, and Laura have been called to an urgent meeting. And so has Sabrina. Only she knows the truth about their trainee. CEO Rick Smikolas has tossed his Wild Wing t-shirt aside for a slick suit. And he also has his pearly whites back in time to address his franchise owners. It's been a, an eye-opening experience. We have amazing employees, but uh, I've seen a lot of things that uh, upset me. A uh, sensitive issue for me is uh, we have to be more consistent here. Some people give away the dips, some people don't. This needs to be addressed moving forward uh, on our new menu. We are going to include a celery and dip as part of our price. How many wings are in a pound? Um, we spec eight, that's how we do our costs. One store gives away an extra wing. They wanted to keep the customer happy. This is a nice thing, but uh, we have to be consistent. Ultimately, I need to see you guys uh, profitable, and it's a tough decision, but uh, we have to go to a lower number. We're on the right track. Let's work together. Let's be proud together. Thank you. Thank you. Steve, Brittany, Laura, and Sabrina have been asked to meet with the head honcho. They think they'll be evaluating their trainee, Angela. But they'll be surprised at what's really on the agenda. Hello. <laughs> Angela, how's it going? I'm not really Angela. I'm Rick Smickless. I'm the founder of Wildland Restaurants. Hi. How you doing? I'm good, you? Yeah. Hi, Rick. How you doing? <laughs> good. Steve, the whole experience with you was amazing. You pointed out some uh, uh, great stuff to me. Uh, the menu specs are moving target. We're constantly <laughs> trying to make things better. We do have a new menu coming, and uh, I, I really want you to take a look at it. I, I want to get it right because guys like you uh, deserve to have all the tools yep. uh, you have. You made it uh, very clear to me that family means everything to you. 
and uh, I'm a strong believer in family first. I know you've dreamed of Cuba and uh, getting married by the water. The least I can do, Steve, is fly you, your fiance, and both sets of parents down to Cuba. Uh, flights, accommodations, and uh, expenses will be covered by myself. You're gonna be a great husband. Thank you, Steve, thank you. That really means a lot to me. Thanks, I wanted to uh, definitely get home and uh, say to your fiance and uh, tell her all the good news. She's gonna freak. <laughs> She's gonna freak right out. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I know you weren't too happy with me. You brought the appetizers to the round table. Lesson learned, I guess. Yeah, very good lesson, and um, employees like you make us so much uh, better than we are. I felt right at home. Shows a lot to me that you can uh, do two, three jobs and have that much energy. And <laughs> yeah, I've done that, that's for sure. You're an amazing uh, young woman, and what really touched me the most was overcoming your illness. There's no words that I can say to say how grateful I am to have met you. And, um, oh, wow, thank you so much. You know, I, I want to reward you properly. And um, I know you mentioned Ireland and uh, St. Patty's Day. I'd like to send you and your boyfriend to <laughs> Ireland uh, with uh, <laughs> hotel accommodations and $5,000 uh, cash spending money. And I hope that's uh, 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 okay with you. And... That's totally okay with me. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Thank you so much. No, it's uh, my pleasure. Bring it in. Bring it in. He's lost me. Yeah, it's intense. <laughs> It's a dream come true for me, yeah. Hello, Laura. I'm very grateful for the experience that we had together. But uh, you were saying that the advertising is 3%. You know, it, it really hurt me because you didn't have your facts. In that case, it, it could be half a percent. In some cases, we don't even charge. And it made it look like to me that we're ungrateful. But I think for us more so, it's just sometimes the lack of response from head office when we ask questions. That's a, a great point. Um, I'm glad that you brought that up. And ultimately, that's my responsibility. That's my pledge to you that we will try to communicate much better. Excellent. Well, you're an exceptional employee. Just what really struck uh, home with me was that you're a single mother. You've raised these three boys. I'd like to uh, reward you for your excellent uh, commitment you have to our company. And I would like to send you and the boys to Disney in Orlando. Um, and uh, I'd like to give you $5,000 uh, uh, spending money. That's uh, excellent. my way of saying thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm gonna cry. It's okay. Please, uh, come. Don't worry. It's, it's all good. It's, uh, well, it just, it, well, <laughs> overwhelmed. It's nice to be told that, you know, you're doing a good job. <laughs> Sabrina, nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Uh, I know last time we met, it was a uh, difficult uh, circumstance. It was crazy. It was emotional. Like, for, even for the week off, like, even that's enough just to spend with the girls that week. I think it's probably the best week I had in a long time. I, I feel I've been very, very uh, soft with a lot of our franchisees, mm -hmm. and I, I promise uh, to be more forceful uh, moving forward that our system is uh, ultimately better for everyone. I just really want you to be okay, and I'm going to do the best I can to help you out in any way. I, I know what you were making there uh, salary-wise, and I said that I would triple it. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to do that. Also, I understand there's a problem with the transportation and the car, and I would like to help out with a car. And I think you're going to be looking back at this day a few years down the road. Oh, my God. And I think uh, you're going to be in a better place. Well, we'll, we'll figure okay. things out. And yeah. that, so let's end this with a nice hug and a fresh start. All right. I'm excited. I'm ecstatic. I'm nervous, but happy. This whole experience is probably the best thing that's ever happened to our company. Without the employees, we are finished. I'm very grateful. Uh, that they got through to me and I'm looking forward to change.